and welcome, welcome to, to the Crow's Nest. Nest. I'm Winnie. And I'm Keely, and today is Friday, February 7th, 2020. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about cleaning our minds of the word can't. You can accomplish almost anything if you are really willing to work at it. Let's listen once again to Thomas Edison who said opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. When it came knocking, did you hear it? When it was in front of you, did you see it? Or did you look right through it? Completely oblivious to what you had. See, opportunity is a subtle creature, a mystery to the universe. Misinterpreted as this obvious treasure calling out to you, when in actuality it's the map. It's the road, it's the courage to move forward. Opportunity is not the moon, the sun, or the stars, it's the staircase that takes you higher. The pieces that come together to comprise your universe. And when that sun comes up, the light sets, your eyes open, you wake up and breathe your first breath. Understand that you are breathing in opportunity. It's not what you look at, it's what you see. And befitting of the message, it's easy to push this away as insignificant or fluff. But let me ask you this. How does one person turn adversity into the very reason they succeed and another turn that same adversity into a ball and chain? Why do some run toward chaos and others retreat? How can one person transform a loss now into a win later and another person view that same defeat as the end? Well, the answer's simple, really. Did you seek out the opportunity or did you not? That is the question. And when you strip life down of its complexities, the patterns become apparent. The people who win never ask if. If it's possible, if it can happen. No, they begin with the premise that it sure can. For lunch today, our menu will be spicy chicken sandwich, hot dog, or chili corn corn with beans, baked potato, chips, baked beans, bean salad, and an orange, or you can choose a PB&J Grab and Go or a grilled chicken club salad. The Junior Honor Society will hold its annual induction ceremony for new members next Wednesday the 12th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the middle school gym. Inductees and JHS officers should follow this dress code. Boys shirt, tie, and dress pants. Girls jumpsuit or school appropriate dress with no uncovered cutouts. No leggings or short skirts. Existing members may dress casual. You may bring a change of clothes for later. If anyone needs help with paying dues or getting clothing, contact Miss Peoples. Congratulations to all the inductees. The WCHS yearbook is currently on sale for $55. To purchase a yearbook, see Ms. Stovall at the high school or any member of the yearbook staff, or order online at www.balfour.com. The Crow's Nest would like to wish a very happy birthday today to Fabiola Santos. Celebrating on Saturday will be Ezra Johnson, and happy birthday on Sunday to Kara Parr and Molly Rose Butler. Enjoy your special day. That's the view from the Crow's Nest. Have a fantastic weekend.